Hi, my name's Paul Arnold, and I'm a qualified counselling psychotherapist. But before that, I spent 27 years in the advertising world. But now I specialise in relationships. I specialise in relationships on the individual and relationships with teams and groups. And I want to share with you some learnings that inform the work I do in helping to build high-performing agency client relationships. And I'm going to be bringing learnings from personal relationships, from what I've seen in the therapy room. And I'm going to demonstrate how those learnings apply in agency client relationships. You know what? The truth in life is relationships change. And they change for some for the good and some for the less good. That's life. You know, and just think back to maybe the first couple of months of a long-term relationship you've had. You know, when you are madly in love with that person and you wanted to spend every moment with them and you couldn't keep your hands off each other and when you're apart, you're in agony and you're thinking about them all the time. Fast forward 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, you know, and it's a very different space. You know, and there's a fantastic book out by uh, Jack Cornfield, which is called After the Ecstasy, The Laundry. And I think it sums up that, you know, life goes on. We've got to reconnect with the outside world. We've got to go and earn the money. We've got to pay the bills. You know, we've got to fix um, the fence. Uh, we've got to put out the garbage. You know, we've got to order the groceries for the party we've got coming up, etc., etc. And actually, we can't stay in that beautiful, romantic space. And also, let's be quite frank, when we get to living with a person, we start to learn things about them we didn't really know. You know, like they like the temperature at 21 degrees, you like it at 19. They, um, they like to have weak tea and you like to have strong coffee, you know, and all these other things. They want the seat up, you want the seat down, da 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 da. Doesn't matter. And we find we have those little moments of clashing with each other. And actually, it's how we decide to deal with that. And where we are seeing those to be as are they fractures or are they just things we need to work through? And it's all to do with the mindset and your intent in the relationship. You know? And I therefore think that relationships, either of those points when it starts to go into that uncomfortable stage, they either die or they mature. And in my experience is longer term relationships that build into a level of maturity have a solidness that allows you as an individual to go out into the world and grow and be certain we live in a very uncertain world. And to know that there is a solidness back there is a really powerful place. If everything is shaking around in your world, it really makes life very much more difficult. So to have that quality of certainty is a really profound thing that I think is much deeper than that first level of excitement that we get, which let's be quite frank, never lasts, you know. So it is with agency client relationships, you know, that lovely honeymoon period, you know, the agency is so excited because they've won the client who they really dreamed of working with, you know, the client's very excited because there's brand new team, everyone is up for it, everyone's working all the hours, everyone's, and then we are then the reality is now we've got to get on with the work because very often the pitch has slowed everything down and we're now in a hurry up. So now we're in a hurry up and suddenly we start to see the cracks. They're not quite as good as we first thought they were. They're a bit slower. The decision making isn't quite right. What's the quality of that brief, brief slide? What's the quality of the work? They haven't listened to well enough. Haven't they got that brand tonality right? And suddenly we're starting like, oh, 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 oh this isn't quite good. This is the point we need to take stock and realize this is part of the course. You know, you've probably all heard of sort of uh, Tuckman's forming, storming, norming, performing stages. And you've got to go through those stages. 
you know, I run workshops where we basically fast track and we accelerate through that storming stage so we get to the norming because we know that out of the norming comes the performing. And in that workshop, I basically do this thing where I sort of lay out, you know, yeah, basic brown paper around the room and we map every single stage we have got to look at. And we look at what's the deliverables, what does great look like, who needs to be involved, what adds value there, what detracts from values. What is, you know, then we start to say, you know, you know, what are the things that we can push together? What things do we not need to do? And we then start to examine that. So we all know what needs to be done when by who in classic racy forms. But the other thing is very important is that what when it goes wrong, because I say there are four rules in life. Things are more complicated than you first think they are because we're working with new creation all the time. Therefore, things will go wrong. It's the nature of the beast. Therefore, things will take longer and things will cost more money. And actually, if we can actually look at how do we deal when things go wrong? What's the protocol? It allows us to be less upset by it, less surprised by it. Now, we'll never get everything right, but it's really important to spend time to really examine how do we deal with the downsides as much as the upsides, you know? Now, I want to talk, you know, I was talking to someone once about, you know, um, the Kellogg's relationship and, you know, like that's been going, that was going with JWT for years and years. And basically they had ups and downs, they're like they all did. But you know what the critical thing was that Kellogg's stayed in the game. They saw it was about a long-term relationship and they knew that like your own personal relationship, it's going to have ups and downs. But they didn't desert the agency. They stayed in and they hunkered down and they worked with them. And I think there was something really powerful and really professional and really mature about the way they saw that. You know, and I think there is a testament to the quality of the relationship that that was that probably helped Kellogg's to become, you know, the, the brand leader in in cereals around the world because they stayed there. And we see it, you know, in football teams, don't we? You know how, you know, originally, you know, Arsene uh, Wenger, when he left and they bought in Arteta at Arsenal, you know, he had a bit of a rough start, but Arsenal stayed with him. And look what he's done now, fantastically, because they realise that we're playing a long game. Manchester United, after Sir Alex Ferguson, how many managers, they didn't stay. What happened at Chelsea? You know, you know the point is, are you a stayer or are you a putter? You know, are you going to put the time in? Because once you've got a good agency, trust me, any agency can do the great work. If you give them the chance and the time. And the trouble is, right, the agency relationship or the personal relationship needs to feel safe. If you're in a relationship where you don't know how the other person is, when they're blowing hot and cold, when they're threatening to, to go and leave or do other things, it really destabilizes how you are in that space. And you know what happens is you then close in. You, no, you are never able to do your good work in a place of fear. It's up to both parties to create a culture of safety, of security, that we've got each other's back in this. Then actually the confidence grows and the agency and the client will thrive together. But you've got to work at it. No relationship comes easy, you know, and actually when, and it's all about the more work you put in the relationship, the better the quality relationship. The question is, is everyone prepared to put the work in?